had to replay it. It's only radio, remember. <laughs> and there's a camera back there. Uh, 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 it, it, Tell us about the. Uh, tell me about the dish I have in front of me here, which looks uh, beautiful. Oh, thank you. It is an antipasti plate, which could mean anything I wanted it to mean, but it means in this case that there's a very thinly sliced parma prosciutto on the base, a quarter of a roasted Bosque pear, and it caramelizes um, beautifully. Chestnuts braised in red wine, so the color of them have ch is is sort of burgundy colored and then a piece of roviola cheese, which is a soft ripening cheese um, from Emilia Romagna, it's just beautiful cheese. And then I drizzled it with um, some olive oil, ex virgin olive oil, and some aged balsamic vinegar. Okay, and why this combination of foods on, on this plate and this antipasti? You would have to ask me that, right? <laughs> <laughs> now let's see. <laughs> What was happening when I, you know, it's funny because I don't always, I don't always know why. I mean, I know that that works, and when I write a, a menu, it, I know why I'm doing it at the time. I can't conjure up. Part of it is that traditionally um, parma prosciutto is often paired with, with fresh fruit, with melon, with pears, because, with figs, because it's the, the salty richness of the ham is really nice with the sweet crispness of a piece of fruit, freshness of a piece of fruit. It's now Thanksgiving, it's, you know, it's colder weather. I like the idea of roasting the pears, which is going to make them sweeter. Um, and the Robiola cheese um, is a really rich, yummy cheese that goes well with the prosciutto. And I thought for Thanksgiving it was sort of a little bit decadent, but that was okay. And then the chestnuts are, um, they're very much a Thanksgiving kind of flavor, so, and they also are... Um, they speak to fall. They speak to fall, and they're Italian, so it all works together. But you kind of need the balsamic... I wouldn't always use balsamic. If it was fresh pears, I wouldn't necessarily use balsamic vinegar, but I think because the pears are roasted and sweeter, they're going to... It's going to be nice having a little bit of acid from the balsamic vinegar. Okay, so I should then... Maybe a little bit of... I don't know about the chestnut, but if you take a little bit of pear, cheese, and ham, I think you'll be happy. Okay. There's I know little, you'll be happy. There's a little bit of cheese, there's a little bit of pear, and there's a little bit of prosciutto. You know, I'm just not used to being miked while I chew. <laughs> well, you chew. <laughs> yes. No. No. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's very nice. That really is very nice because it's uh, it's a little bit salty and a little bit sweet and a little bit creamy all at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yep. You very, want very all nice. those things going on in your mouth. Very, very nice. Very nice. I've never had this cheese before. It's a little bit, um, it's salty and a little bit chalky, but it's creamy as well. It's nice. Mmm. And even though the ham is very thin, it still comes through, right? Because it's such a big flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, you know, the interesting thing about this cheese is that uh, uh, I, I, I think when I, when I put a, uh, uh, when I put a piece of cheese that has this texture in my mouth, uh, I expect it to be, uh, or I anticipate it to be very rich and creamy, mm -hmm. and yet.